All right, guys, look, what a, what a day today was, right? We all spoke about today, yesterday. Uh, I said I was going to sleep in the blue roof. Maybe I'm in the blue roof right now. Where are you guys? You know, maybe in the garam blue roof. I'm not garam lounge, I'm garbage. To go be your Tina Grace. Um. <laughs> okay, guys. So. Ha. Huh, it's a it's a tough one. Okay, it's it's a tough one. It's a tough one, and I want us to figure out what our state of mind should be. I know a lot of people have the question now. What? Um, I know a lot of people are asking the question, now what? What do we do next? What does today mean? Let's start by dealing with what was today supposed to be, right? Today was supposed to be, in fact, the reason anybody came out today was we had an objective to get the president out. We came out to perform a treasonous function, okay? And it felt good. It felt good to come out and be treasonous, to come out and go to Mugabe's house and kick him out. That's what we came out for today, right? Um, it was an opportunity to make sure our voices were not just heard, but our actions were... It's gone. It's gone? It's back. It's back. Oh. Uh, but our actions were going to deliver the promise we were all after so bad. So, everybody came out. I mean, we saw more numbers today than I think we saw at the Million Men March. We validated one thing, that people in this country are definitely not happy with Robert Mugabe. We were able to validate that. We went out to... Uh, uh, Zimbabwe uh, grounds um, at Zimbabwe grounds a lot of it was really you know a lot of like these guys talking yap 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 and then I came on and I gave a flooring uh, um, solidarity <laughs> message um, but the people were amazing I mean so many people came out I, I don't I'm not sure I have ever seen that many people come out for anything in Zimbabwe. Not even for Makandiwa or for Magaya. So it's fair to say Mugabe brings out more people than Makandiwa and Magaya. Assuming people came out for the war veterans, the war veterans have more support than Magaya or Makandiwa. Here is the problem. Here is the problem. Here is the problem. The envoys that are managing this then went and told the president that I'm Dara Squad Rabuda Panzi Chaga Chaya. Right? And then you all saw the helicopter. The president gets into the helicopter. Uh, in fact, the helicopter leaves from Air Force, um, from Madanyami Air Force. It goes to the blue roof. The president is told you might want to see the situation at hand. Almost like a security briefing. The president goes in air, the president starts flying. As the president is flying, we all saw the helicopters and we waved at him, right? Obviously, the president being the president, when he saw us waving, he thought we were, were showing him love. Can you see? We all showed him a lot of love. Oh, the screen. We all showed him a lot of love. Uh, and then we were told by the war vets and the military. Uh, in fact, while this was happening, people started walking to State House. We walked to State House. And we got pretty much 200 meters away from the state house, from all arteries of the state house. So, from all the arteries that take you directly into the state house, they were blocked. Choker blocker. Um, and then the military held us, their reasoning being Mirai, 
we got you this far, we'll get you beyond here. And then the military says, it's about to get dark. We don't want you while it's dark. We don't want you out while it's dark. So you guys go home. And then the warfare's come out and they explain that there's really nothing to update you on right now. So go home. The purpose of today has been done. Right? Um, and now we're home. I'm home. That's the story. End of story, right? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have anything else to tell you. That's pretty much what happened. So, other processes are now at play. What's for certain is, unless some type of miracle happens tonight, okay? And miracles do happen, just never really in politics. Unless some really special type of miracle happens, effective tomorrow, Robert Mugabe is back. Grace Mugabe is back. Now people are talking about, well, Zanu PF is going to fire him tomorrow. There is technicalities to doing this. And these are very tough technicalities. If you fire the president from the party, as a central committee, you're doing it as a legal avenue. So he can question and challenge the legal argument, which means we then are going to spend time dealing with the legal argument and internal Zanopi of legal argument on should Mugabe, can they fire Mugabe or can they not fire Mugabe? I'll remind you of when this has happened. Do you remember when Morgan Changirai was fired by his party and Tendai Biti had a faction? And this faction of Tendai BT said, we are now in charge of MDC. And there was real chaos. And he went to the courts. And Morgan Changrai challenged it in the courts. Everybody wanted Tendai BT to win. Guess who won? The incumbent, Morgan Changrai. So let's assume they go to court. And Mugabe challenges and wins. That means... The head of Zano PF remains Robert Mugabe. Okay? Let's assume Mugabe doesn't win in court. We're now already talking about a week, two weeks. And we go to Parliament with there's an option of impeachment. Impeachment is not that easy because remember, once it gets once it gets that complicated, and you're not talking about impeachment, there is MPs in Parliament. That are G40. You know that? So you're hoping you have enough numbers. But no one wa kuchka vanig vahu tochka vau to teta. Kuri manja manja vanu no vega bajira chipangariya. Kuruga endo gano votera uti ulaud mugaba bay, mugabo vare gira ubaya, apa wa taura, wa kufana kutanga uchaga, muna no kusonera, juzi rachipanga. So that's complicated, right? So you have the third moving piece now, which is what can Mugabe do? Mugabe is now holding all the cards. And I'll tell you the first card Mugabe is now holding. We're in a lot of trouble. The first card he's now holding is if this is not a coup and he is essentially still the president of the country, and he can perform functions of the president, that means the president can appoint a vice president right now. There is no legal instrument that stops him from appointing a vice president right now. So if the president appoints Grace Mugabe as vice president right now, Grace Mugabe has to be vice president. If the military stop Grace Mugabe from being vice president, the military is now essentially holding the president and the vice president of a country. How crazy is that? And the other vice president is out of the country. Sadak would then give us a complete nightmare. We will have a nightmare, such a nightmare on our hands because Sadak is now stuck between having the military 
versus the president versus the vice president and the other vice president. What a moving piece, right? So what should we do? That's what you want to know. What is the way forward? What do we do? We have options too. We have options. But we must begin by understanding something that I have to accept I have been wrong about. And now I've been wrong and I have to accept it too. The people who are in charge of this process have a plan. Which has nothing to do with you or to do with me. Chin Chavo. You might have heard an interview this evening. Patrick Joao, the president's nephew, has now been able to leave the country. While he's been able to leave the country, he's conducted an interview. In fact, he wrote a piece in the, I think, I believe it was in the tele Telegraph today. And if you read his analysis, he's not very wrong. Patrick Joao says, what is currently taking place is my Zimbabwean Arkuitiswa. Because what we are fighting up, Tukurwa, and I'm not sure Tukurwira Ani or Tukurwire, because before I thought we were fighting to remove Robert Mugabe, I went to the extent of telling you we had a silver bullet. And I said we had one silver bullet. That silver bullet was today. So I tell you that, Nancy Zaja, you cannot repeat that. I don't know how you'd repeat bringing all those people out today. You guys played your part. You really did. Nobody can blame any Zimbabwean that came out today. If you came out of your house, if you didn't go to work today, if you came out and you were on the streets, whether in Zimbabwe, in America, in London, in Johannesburg, in Pretoria, if you came out, you should pat yourself on the back and say, I played my part. Because you did. You should feel a little good about yourself because you played your part. You did exactly what was expected of you. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful moment. What a beautiful moment it was when we walked past my gunmen and my gunmen were only pointing guns at us. At some point, they almost point. In fact, at some point, Tambo Farisa, Tikanago American Embassy, Tikanago Rally by American Embassy, but thank you to the military of course so what a what a beautiful moment we had what a, what an incredible day it was it felt good to walk on the street and see I saw some funny looking Zimbabweans. I mean, I saw Zimbabweans today who just look funny. Have you ever seen just funny looking people? in my face, I'm very funny, funny. Both white and black. Like I saw funny looking white people, funny looking black people, short looking, long child, all of them. All of, I just saw them. I saw some really good looking Zimbabweans. I mean, it was incredible because I got to see ghetto Zimbabwe and and uh, my salad is Zimbabwe in the same space, walking on the same road, holding the same flag. I saw my salad taking selfies. Nema soldier. You know it's the salad who ran there first, right? I understand, of course, why a lot of people didn't go to, why some people didn't go to Zimbabwe uh, uh, grounds, because I, I figured people don't really know what, what Zimbabwe grounds is. Like, they were, all the salads were in town because they have no idea where, where Zimbabwe garden. When you say high fields, in their head, they just think of some Ambuya of theirs they know who lives in high fields. So, and they were shy to ask, where is Zimbabwe gardens? So, they did what all salads do. They just went halfway and they stopped in town. And they saw others were in town. Chawa Chalu Chayam town. Anyway, so, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do next? Because we can't stay stuck, okay? Right now, we've been put in a situation where I think we're, it's fair to conclude that now we're stuck. I don't have the answers. I have some ideas, but I don't, I don't have the answers. I need to just distress myself. I probably need to eat some good food, get some uh, 
um, get some uh, movies and watch some movies. <laughs> and I'll relax my mind and I'll be able to think. Um, but it's jikes. Mugabe, guys. Mugabe properly went round in a helicopter, saw people, and says, I'm not going to the GT by say, cool. These people love me. The military is stopping them from coming. Mugabe was even like, let them come to my house. These people want to come and love me. <laughs> oh. Grace Mugabe is back. Because the trouble with firing Mugabe, even at a party level, is the constitution of the party. I... I need to read it and you know lawyer friends should look at this i am sure the constitution of the party like the constitution of any hr says before you fire someone before you get fired what's the first thing that happens what happens if you commit an offense at work what's the first thing that happens hmm? you're suspended when you're suspended, you go to a hearing. When you go to a hearing, you give your side of the story. The others give their side of the story. Both sides of the stories are given. Only when the sides of the stories are given, a certain jury or hearing uh, committee makes a decision on what should be happening, what should be your fate. You get that? I asked I you one day. So... I don't know how to feel, and I think it's like some of you, I feel like we went from a very great day to a very confusing day. You know, it's as confusing as that moment when you heard Mugabe is no longer president and he walked up at a university to give a speech. Why they let him go is because he's still the president. So effective tomorrow, unless a miracle happens tonight, unless a miracle happens tonight, effective tomorrow, this man now holds all of the cards. Because Mugabe can appoint a vice president. And then he can step down as president. Think about this, okay? Remember, the military, we all thought Tambayarguns are signing. We're now dealing with a very complicated, smart escalation of events. We were saying he must sign a letter that he has given over the country to his vice president being Nangagwa. Yes? Okay. Now what happens if he writes a letter tonight? And he signs in this letter, I'm leaving, but I'm leaving his president, my new vice president, Chris Mugabe. The same letter, which we were prepared to accept if he had named Mnangagwa, is now about to be done and can announce anybody. Do you understand how um, not great that is? We've come for I know. It feels a little funny. I know. It's almost like if you've ever... Um, uh, I almost want to say an anticlimax, but then I feel like the name to explain what an anticlimax is. It's almost as if you've had like an, something like an anticlimax. But anyway, we'll have to talk about this after I apply, I apply my mind. I am going to. I now have to... We have to go back to the drawing board, guys. You, me... Every Zimbabwean who still cares, we can't give up because the op we have two options. We either say, ah, shut down, and we give up, or we figure out how to get out of this mess. We just have to figure out how to get out of this mess. Um, I'm obviously going to buy my Chipanga jersey. Uh, I just want to say, I wrote this letter by my old will, and I don't add any correction. I'm still young. I'm still young and growing. So, so I just want to say, I'm sorry. I was handed everything I was saying by one Constantine Kuvea. <laughs> Those were not my words. I would never insult the principals. I love that of <laughs> Oh, guys. Wow, man. Anyway. We're still alive. We live to fight another day. I just want to say, guys, keep your heads up, okay? Don't get discouraged. Keep your heads up. Um, 
if somebody has an answer, you know, I can see people, you know, doing their thing again, like they've, like they've got the answers. Go ahead, give us the answers. You smart people who were able to organize this event today. Uh, and you did so fantastically to get people to come out. Uh, thank you for the guys who came out. It shows a lot of belief that you have in what I'm doing and what a lot of people are doing, the war vets. And thank you guys. Um, we'll figure it out. I promise you that. Uh, but until then, stay focused. Uh, go home tonight and distress by the means that you distress with.